Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a background texture to a picture like this, and which is made up of an original portrait like this and two background textures. If you want to download the source files, including these textures and this original file, you can do so along with all the other original files to other tutorials for $4 a month. And you can also download the HD version of this tutorial for free all from tutorvid.com. All right, so let's get started. I'll erase my layers I have. And the first thing we want to do is get our textures into our image. So I have the images already open in Photoshop and I'm going to select all, control A and then control C to copy and then go to my image and paste it in. And then I'm going to get my second layer, control A and copy and paste it in. Now I want to resize these layers so that they fill up the whole image and generally upsizing the image that much reduces the quality quite a bit but since these are just background textures uh, it doesn't matter so much. So I'm going to press Control T and generally if you want to keep the height and width ratio the same you can hold down the shift button but since I don't care about this since they're just background textures I can let go of the shift and adjust the image as I want. So I'm going to pull it to just fit over the entire image and press the OK button up here. And then I'm going to hide this layer. Click on the layer below, which is this paint. Control T. And then I'm going to drag it to fill up the entire image. And OK. Now I'll start with this paint texture. To blend it into the background layer, I'm going to use one of these blending modes here for the layer. Right now it's on normal, which is just makes it like a normal layer. Now the different blending modes work different ways and some of them will look good with depending on how your layers look. You can go through them and see what the different blending modes look like. I'm going to use multiply. The way this layer works is a little confusing but essentially it multiplies the two colors between these this layer and the layers below and creates sort of a new color. So if it is black, a black times any color will be black. A white times any color will keep the original color. And then everything in between will be darker. So essentially it turns everything darker. Now I'm going to change the opacity down quite a bit so that it is a little more subtle. And another thing you can do to your texture layer is create a curves adjustment. And I want it to just affect my background layer. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then click and holding down I'm gonna go up to curves now you'll see use previous layer to create clipping mask yes and now if you look at your layers you can see this little arrow that means that it is only affecting this layer below so I'll, I'm gonna increase the contrast here and that makes the texture a little bit more visible now back to my layers now to remove the texture layer from over his eyes and his face, I'm going to click on the texture layer over here and then create a layer mask by clicking here. Now I need to paint on the layer mask to mask out his face. If you're not sure how layer masks work, you can look at a special tutorial for those. So I need to paint, make sure I'm painting black and I'm using the brush with the B or select it over here. Make sure your opacity is high enough to see the difference. You can select around 70 for starters. Flow, make sure that's up and make sure you're painting on your layer mask, not on your layer. You can see which one is selected by there's this, there's this darker rectangle around it. And so start painting and you can see the textures being erased from his face. And if you want to bring back a little texture, you can paint white again on this layer mask. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush to maybe 35 and paint white. And I can bring back a little texture on parts of his face and in his coat. Okay, so that's good enough for now. I'm going to go up to my stone texture and make it visible. And it covers everything because it's in the normal blending mode. I'm going to go up and make it multiply again. And then down here to opacity, I'm going to bring that down to something that looks all right, maybe around 50 actually, and then create my layer mask again down here. 
Now I need to brush on this layer mask black and make his face visible again. Now when you've added these texture layers and made everything a little bit darker, you might want to adjust the curves a little bit. So I'm going to create a curves layer for the whole image and just bring up the lightness a little bit in the image and maybe create a little more contrast in the darks. And that's all there is to it. If you like the tutorials, subscribe and check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com. <laughs>